Hi and welcome to Mike's Garage. So today we're going to answer the question, is the EG4 12,000 XP inverter loud or is it actually pretty quiet? So I've got a meter here. Let's find out. All right. So the first thing I want to show you is the actual load that's on the inverter. So as you can see here, we're pulling about five, 600 watts on it, kind of going up and down. I have a few different things powered right now. So as you can see, Two of the strands of lights are on. I have my computer on over there and then also have my 3D printer uh, printing something for my daughter. So if we look at our meter, you're going to see that it's going to drop down to 28 decibels, which is the lowest that this meter can read. So that's our current. So remember, 28 is your baseline, no noise. Fans aren't doing anything. They're not even on. We're going to start turning on a bunch of things. We're going to see at what point do the fans turn on? When do they really start to get audible? And at any point, does this get loud? So first thing we're going to want to do, let's actually turn on all the lights in both the chill area and in the shop. See what that does. All right, so with all the lights turned on, we're pulling about 1,750 watts right now. Kind of bounces up and down. There we go, about 1,700. You can see the floor is at 28 decibels. Fans are not turned on at this point. So completely silent, 17, 1,800 watts. Now... We're going to turn on a couple of heaters in the shop real quick. So the heaters are going to draw 1500 watts each. They're plugged into completely different breakers and circuits. So uh, should have no issues with those things, uh, tripping a breaker or anything. Currently we're at 4,700 watts. The fans have kicked on. They are in a, uh, low state. Let's see what the meter says. About 46 decibels is where it's at. Now this room is 30 feet long. What you're going to notice is when I go to the other side of the room with the meter, it's not going to pick it up. So as you can see, we hit all the way down to 28. So if you're pulling this kind of wattage out of it, you're pulling say 5,000 watts, it just hit uh, 5,100 for a moment there. If you're pulling that kind of wattage, if you're up close to it, you can hear it a little bit. If you're on the other side of the room, say 25, 30 feet away, you're not going to really hear it at all. It is very quiet at this level. So now we're going to turn on some more things in the shop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these off real quick. And I'm going to fire up my uh, drill press. As you can see, I'm doing a bunch of drilling, trying to make all my uh, bus bars here. We'll turn these back on. Like I said, I didn't want it to be a big hit all at once on, on the inverter. We're going to close this door right here so the sound can't come in. And the load's gone up a little bit. We're at around 5,300 watts right now. around 47 decibels. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put these two heaters that are once again on separate circuits, put them on low, both of them. Should be about another 1800 watts roughly. And I can hear if the fan stepped up around 6600 watts. About 52 decibels. Once again, still pretty quiet. You can hear it across uh, the other side of the room, but it's really not that loud. It really is pretty quiet. Okay, so I put them on high now. Now we're at 8,500 watts is what it's pulling. And about 60 dBs is where the floor is at. It's really not that bad. I mean, it is about... A foot away from the fans so that's really not too bad 
So if I go to the other side of the room once again, about 45 decibels. Really not that loud. All right, so I'm going to turn these things off just for a moment. I'm going to turn on the mini split. So this is a three ton unit, 36,000 BTU. Be the size of a mini split that would be in a small house, say around 1,500 square feet or less. That's what the uh, mini split would be for. All right, so now we're a little over uh, 7,200 watts. Put these on high again. Okay, we are now at 10,200. Well, it looks like it hit 10,300 for a moment there. I call it about 63 decibels a foot away. Then on the other side of the room, about 47. All right, so that's it. So as a summary, when you turn it on, up to about the first 4,000 watts or so, the fans are going to turn on, but it's not going to be that loud. It's actually going to be very, very quiet to where when you're on the other side of the room, a uh, decibel meter won't even pick it up. Once you start getting around 6,000 watts, the power, the uh, fans start to kick up some more. It is audible on the other side of the room, but it's not, it's not super loud, and you can be right by it, and it's perfectly fine. Keep on turning it up once you get around 10,000. The fans are close to their max speed, and um, I have it right behind me, and it, it's really not bothering me at all. So it isn't that loud. If you keep it under 5,000 watts, four or 5,000, you'll probably never hear the fans. Once it goes above that, you'll start to hear it some, but if you're on the other side of the room or if you have a wall between where you're at and where the unit's at, say it's in, a, uh, in the garage of your house and you go inside your house, you're not going to hear it. If you uh, have it in uh, one room and you're in a different room, you probably won't hear it, and that's with it fully cranked up. So once again, very quiet unit, quite happy with it. It may be a little bit louder once I have five of them hooked up, but for now, one is not that bad at all. So that's the EG4 12,000 XP. That's a real sound test so you guys can see what it sounds like when you set up yours. Thanks again for watching. Mike's Garage.